Tonight marks the 80th anniversary of the Annis Field Wolf Book Awards. The awards remain true to the original mandate of their founder, Cleveland poet and philanthropist Edith Annis Field Wolf, to contribute to our understanding of race and racism in our country. I am really proud to be included among this list of writers whose work has meant so much to my writing. Thank you, Madam Annasville Wolf, for your great vision. This award validates and celebrates my lifelong work and struggle as a, an activist poet. My whole life has been shaped by Annasville Wolf owners. The idea that voices that sounded like my own or voices from people who look like me could be considered legitimate um, was, was just mind blowing. When I looked at the list of former Annisfield Wolf nonfiction award winners, it included a wonderful collection of historians, biographers, sociologists, anthropologists, political scientists, who all contributed in ways that I appreciate. It's a supreme honor to receive the Annisfield Wolf Award for Lifetime Achievement. I hope you saw the news just announced that the City of Cleveland, RTA, the Cleveland Foundation, and Land Studio have joined to make the Annisfield Wolf Book Awards the narrative backbone of the RTA's upcoming public art installations along the red line from the airport to downtown. Edith would be thrilled 80 years later by our 2015 award winners. She'd love to see citizens from across Greater Cleveland and beyond gathered here to experience and honor transformative literature.